Let's talk about resumes. Today, I want to share the resume I used to get my first data analytic position. This resume was made in 2020 and it was specific to the role that I was applying for, which was a data analytic position. I didn't have much experience since I just finished my university studies and my degree. However, I did use what I've learned in the course of my four-year degree in order to construct this resume. The school system does not prioritize making a resume and because of that, we're left on our own to do so. This is a very important document. It's the first document a recruiter would see from you. Not your face, not your voice, but this document. And it leaves questions. If this document is so important, why weren't we given the necessary guidance to create this? With no experience, I'm going to show you the resume I use in order to land my first data analytic position and also demonstrate how you can still be considered with little or no professional experience. Here is an overview of my resume. It's only two pages, so I did not have a lot of information included in my resume. In terms of the format, I only used color at the heading and kept it pretty simple. The headings that I included in my resume is a professional summary, education, the list of skills, my character strengths, and also work experience. I will be going in depth in each section of the resume. Here we have the heading, which just includes my name, the city and province, telephone number, zip code, and also my email address. So contact information, mostly in the heading with my name. Here we have the professional summary, which I tailored to the role that I was applying for, which is a data analyst. That's why I stated here that I was a junior data analyst. I then went ahead and included my most recent professional accomplishment, which is, which is why I stated that I recently completed the field of study in computer science at my college. I then went ahead and described my personality in a professional setting. That's why I stated I was willing to adapt to any work environment and also contribute to team success. At the end, I list a few data analytics skills that I've learned. Moving on to education, this is where I've listed all my institution learnings with the most recent at the top. Over here, you can see I indicated what year I've achieved these um, accomplishments so at the the first one is my bachelor of science in computing i've indicated the name of my school and what i majored and minored in the last one is my high school diploma and the school that i received it and also the year um year 2014. Here under skills, I've listed all the skills that I was exposed to in my four year course in, at university. So I've listed a lot of data analytics skills like data mining, data visualization, data cleaning, data management, data development. And also I went ahead and listed all the programming languages I was exposed to. So that's Java, C, C Sharp, SQL, etc. Here on the character strengths, I've listed all my strengths. So I've included critical thinking, communication skills, dedication, open-minded, team-oriented, and also self-motivated. Lastly, I have work experience. Here I've listed my part-time job. I did have this job for six years, so I indicated the start and end date. Um, this was a part-time job, so I was working here while I was going to university. I've listed the city and the province and just went ahead and listed my roles and responsibilities at this position. And that was my resume I used to land my first role in data analytics. As you can see, it was a very simple resume. It did not include too much information because I was lacking experience. However, this goes to show that you can still learn your field of study with little experience. Until next time, thank you.